Hi, I'm Dylan from Thermapro, and this is the introduction video for the TP67. In the package contents of your TP67, you can expect to find your base station, your remote transmitter, your charging adapter, your user manual, and a set of batteries. Now that your TP67 is unpackaged, it is time to charge your remote transmitter. Use the USB charging adapter with an applicable plug and begin charging your sensor. The light will turn green when the charging is complete. Now that your remote transmitter is charged, it is time to connect the base station with the remote transmitter. To do so, place the batteries into the base station like so. Once the batteries are inserted, the device will automatically turn on. Next, press and hold the power button on the back of the remote transmitter to sync the two together. Now that the base station and remote transmitter are synced, it is time to take a look at the display features of the TP67. At the top, you have your current weather forecast. Below, you have your outdoor temperature channel of your remote transmitter and the trend arrow of your outdoor temperature. Next, you have your indoor display with your indoor temperature and humidity, as well as a battery indicator and outdoor trend arrow. At the bottom, you have your barometric pressure reading of the current hour, barometric graph, as well as your barometric trend arrow. Lastly, you have your light button, which can toggle the backlight on and off. On the back of your TP67, you will see several buttons. The weather button will allow you to adjust the current forecast if need be. The C slash F button will change your current temperature readings from Celsius to Fahrenheit. The inches of mercury and millibars button will allow you to change the units of measurement of your barometric pressure. The history button will toggle through the history of your barometric pressure. The max slash min button will toggle through the maximum and minimum readings of your remote transmitter's history. Lastly, the channel button will toggle through channels 1, 2, and 3 for use of multiple remote transmitters. When your TP67 is all set up and ready to go, make sure you make use of the wall mount slot on both the base station and remote transmitter for convenient placement. If you do not wish to use the wall mount slot, simply use the stand. As well as being fully rechargeable, the TP67 remote transmitter can also withstand any type of outdoor environment as it is completely water and weatherproof. Whether it be the rain or snow, the TP67 can withstand it all.